no, sorry. Sorry. Now I'm talking. Tempers rose as the waters receded in Fort Gibson tonight. People yelled, cried, and mocked the mayor and city council. Two News reporter Liz Bryant working for you, telling us why the residents blame the city for their flooded homes. Well, Russ, many of these flooded homes are right next to this creek on South Avenue in Fort Gibson. Despite its proximity, the residents say this creek isn't to blame. It only came up. The water only came up to their homes. They're blaming the city, saying that the manholes are out of date, they're not up to code, and that sewer water flooded, overtook their homes. As water rushed over this Fort Gibson Street Monday night, neighbors crowded around the mayor's red Dodge truck. He drove off. Today, this fan dries Gary McGregor's tile, his third flood here in just six years. Seven inches right here. This is his living room last night. Today, his TV. Right here. Everyone even come on. It's out. The sliding door Gary couldn't open 24 hours ago. Hey, where's the city council at? I said, I don't know, but it should be right here in this driveway. Or it should be in that driveway or the next driveway, because that's the three houses that got hit. So bring them here. Let's have the meeting right here. We have addressed this issue. The mayor repeated over and over at tonight's council, we'll look into this. He says the city wants to buy these homes with federal money, turning it into a park. That's what I took it on for, for the good and the bad. I will deal with any part of it that comes this way. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for the citizens of Fort Gibson. As for the mayor driving off from these residents in flood water, he says he couldn't immediately help them. And the situation escalated to where I thought the best way to defuse it was to leave the area as soon as I could. There is a problem. They've known there's a problem, and we need to get some help. And we are right next to the creek still. You can see the water stain on this brick on this home. Now, the, the residents said that they are not in a floodplain, but the mayor said they are in a floodplain. It's a FEMA 500 year floodplain. Many threatened lawsuits tonight and even took home this form. It's for a tort claim against the city of Fort Gibson. Live tonight, Liz Bryant, 2 News, works for you. All right, Liz, thanks. And as for the manholes not being up to code, the mayor tells 2 News that they were installed years ago, and he says that raising them could actually create a bigger flooding issue.